So, you're thinking of creating a free website? Stick around as I show you the four best free website builders on the market. You'll also find out all about their pros and cons, and when it makes sense to upgrade to a paid plan. Welcome to Website Tool Tester, where we review website builders all day long so you don't have to. The first question you should ask yourself is whether you want a free website or a cheap website. I'll explain the difference. A free site builder has certain limitations that you may not like, especially if you want to use it in any business-related context. You won't get a proper domain name for free as it always comes at a cost. Instead, you'll get a free subdomain that contains your website builder's brand name. Your website will contain an ad, as you can see in these examples, some more visible, some less. You won't have access to all the professional features, such as e-commerce or password-protected pages. But let's now check out four actual website builders that we can recommend for their free offerings. The first website builder is Webnode. We picked it because, as you can see here, the ad isn't that visible. You will only see it when scrolling down to the bottom of the page, and it pretty much blends in with the rest of the website. They let you build an unlimited number of pages and have a decent selection of mobile responsive templates to choose from. They also offer their limited plan, which is a relatively cheap way to connect your own domain name if you don't want to use the free yoursite.webnode.com subdomain. Ucraft, our next option, is your ideal choice if you've already purchased a domain name and want to connect it to a website for free. You'll be able to do just that, but it comes at a price. Ucraft only allows you to create a single page. Also, while it's certainly not a bad website builder, we found others to be much easier to use. Fortunately, the ad is relatively low-key. Our next contender is Wix, the largest website builder in the world. Their advantage is the amazing number of features you can use for free. You have access to nearly everything. Pro photo galleries, an appointment booking system, email marketing campaigns, and hundreds more apps. Where their free plan falls short is the very visible ad at the top that will stick around even as you scroll down. Also, the URL of your website isn't exactly sexy. It's very long and pretty much impossible to remember. The cheapest ad-free plan that also lets you use your own domain is called Combo. By the way, for paid plans, Wix is our top choice. Lastly, let's take a look at Weebly, where you also have a pretty visible ad on your page that even expands as you hover over it. We recommend Weebly for the ease of use of their drag-and-drop editor. The available designs are a bit more limited, but overall, it's a very decent product that also lets you add apps to your website. The cheapest paid plan is called Connect and lets you connect your own domain name, but will still show the ad. You'll need the starter plan to make it disappear. Now that you've seen our top four, let me quickly summarize when to use each product. If you just don't want to pay anything at all, only have a small ad, and stay on the free plan indefinitely, Webnode. If you only need a one-page website and already have your own domain name that you want to connect for free, Ucraft. If you want to start out free but would also be considering a paid plan as your business grows, Wix or Weebly. Wix is the flashier, more flexible candidate. Weebly, on the other hand, is a bit easier to use and offers cheaper paid plans. There you have it. The choice is now yours. If you still have any questions, check out our reviews at WebsiteToolTester.com or send us your feedback through the comments. Thanks for watching.